hey everyone welcome to tam psych advice today we're going to be talking about friendships what level you think your friendships are at have you made new friends or have you had to let go what do you consider to be a good friend and what do you need in a friendship COVID has motivated our friendships i think to some degree besides the profound physical and emotional toll that the pandemic created. I think the isolation really affected a lot of friendships. It may have even shed light on who's a good friend and who's not that great of a friend. Survival mode and a crisis can alter who you are as a person. Friends coming together and talking is so important. Being isolated, it makes you think differently about the people that you love and that you care about. Friendships include a lot of complexities and intricacies. I'm gonna look at some of the Myers-Briggs types. ISFJs feel that secret to making friendships last is about being present, making sure that you keep the connection between you no matter what, and being there for the good and the bad. And you wanna make sure that you're celebrating each other. What about INTJs? INTJs feel that a good friendship means sharing the same values, not being jealous of each other's success and surrounding yourself with someone who is as happy for your happiness as you are for your own. That's important. INTJs are generally a successful type. They're gonna make a lot of achievements, so they want someone along the journey who's gonna be proud of them and happy for them and not looking at them like you're always accomplishing things or you're always making things happen. I don't like that about you. You know, I want you to fail. That's the opposite of friendships, right? How about ENFJs? A friend is someone who loves you where you are on your journey, no matter what, because there are other friendships that demand a lot and they kind of fail. But the ones that endure are the friends that cheer you on in the highest of moments and the toughest. They're your loudest cheerleader. They know you. Let's say you retreat or you pull away when you're struggling with something, like you go inward. Well, your good friend will let you know that they're still there for you, that it's okay, that they love you, flaws and all. Let's talk about the ESTJ. The ESTJ would probably consider someone a great friend who they can rely on for emotional support. What bonds you is shared experiences. Even if it's different from others, what are your shared beliefs? Are they similar? Shared beliefs are important, like how you want to be as a wife and a mother. You might connect with someone who has similar values as you and someone that you can have a good time together. Laughing together is always a really, really good thing. And how about the ESTP? The ESTP's perspective, there are boundaries. People respect each other. There's a certain loyalty to each other. They can laugh at similar things. Of course, there's gonna be laughter and funny moments. I heard an ESTP say that deep inside, there might be a teensy bit of jealousy in most friendships at some point to some degree, even if you don't admit it. If you're down and out and the other one is flying high, you might feel a little something. And I thought, is that true? <laughs> I think we generally think we're not allowed to think any negative thoughts, but could you continue to be friends with someone if you knew that they were jealous of certain things or envious? Is there a certain degree of that that you would find acceptable and normable, normal, I was gonna say normable, or do you think that's an absolute no-no? One of the things about ESTPs is they can be realist about how they feel about things, right? I think most people want a really close friendship or two. There's a little bit more on the INTJ. Friend could be the mother that you never had, sister that you've always wanted, someone that's so amazing that, wow, everybody deserves a friend like this. When you have an amazing friend, you can release the day and you might not even need therapy. An ENTP might say, I'm perfectly imperfect. 
I'm a flawed human being and a good friend would tell you that they're going to be there as you evolve as a human being. People struggle. They may think of themselves as complex people, but they would feel that a friend is someone that you can have deep conversations and discussions with and someone that you can enjoy. The ENTJ, what does an ENTJ need from a good friend? They are not necessarily interested in advice. They may find advice to be hostile. They want a friend who listens, mirrors back to them something that they've said to put some perspective on it. More than anything, they want somebody to listen. When they're going through something, they do not want someone to try to fix it. They just need to feel heard as a number one thing. Definitely want to avoid toxic friendships. I think we all have had the potential to connect with people who are toxic, narcissists, which is why I wrote my book. My motivation was to help people to understand these people. It's not that you can't have compassion for a narcissist because more than likely they've gone through some tough things and they probably have had some challenging friendships. That doesn't mean that you have to be their friend, but I do address that in my book, The Workplace Narcissist. You wanna avoid those people and if you have to be in contact, they share with you all the ways to help you navigate that better. It's on Amazon by Tamara Hunter Zion. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.